shortly after Brett Veach's presser at the NFL Combine where he hinted at potentially tagging a player, it was announced that the Chiefs do indeed plan on tagging Legereus Sneed. And if they don't come to agreement on a long-term deal, Sneed could be traded to another team. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? Earlier today, Brett Veach spoke at the Combine and was immediately asked about two players, Chris Jones and Legereus Sneed. Veach said that Chris Jones is at the top of the list, just like last season. They tried really hard to get something done with him, but weren't able to. Then they had a great talk with him and his representatives after the Lions game, which led to his one-year makeshift deal getting done. Veach then noted that both parties, talking about Chris Jones and the Chiefs want him to stay here in Kansas City, so they'll get to work on that. He'd like to see Chris finish his career in Kansas City, so they'll be meeting with his agents this week at the Combine, as well as the agents of defensive back Legereus Sneed. Veach's goal and intent is to keep both Legereus Sneed and Chris Jones around. He's hopeful they're able to figure something out for both, but then said there's only one franchise tag and he anticipates probably using it to help them out. And by them, he means the Kansas City Chiefs, so Veach gave a little clue there, and it really hinted at tagging Sneed because his cap hit would be $19.8 million compared to Chris Jones is 32 million if they decided to tag him, which would honestly be borderline insane. However, Veach then reiterated that the goal is to get both Sneed and Chris Jones done and work from there with the rest of the roster. Well, a few hours later, we got an update that confirms the Chiefs are going to be placing the franchise tag on defensive back Legereus Sneed. First, Matt Verderam of Sports Illustrated said multiple sources were telling him the Chiefs are trending towards using the franchise tag on Sneed. Uh, it wasn't 100% at the time of his tweet, but it was around the 75 to 80% range. But about 45 minutes later, that percentage seemed to climb up quite a bit because Jeremy Fowler of ESPN said this around 3.30 p.m. Central. Chiefs have informed Legereus Sneed they are prepared to use the franchise tag and are open to consummate a trade off it if no long-term deal is reached per source. Sneed is agreeable to the scenario, giving him a chance to talk with other teams while KC remains in play. Nate Taylor of The Athletic then confirmed this report, saying this could indeed end with Sneed being traded to another team before the draft if no deal with the Chiefs is reached. They did something similar to this with D. Ford in 2019 when they tagged him, uh, then traded him to the 49ers for a second round pick. Sneed, better player than D. Ford at the time, in my opinion, so he's probably gonna get more. But either way, this is a win-win situation for the Chiefs. They can allow Sneed to test the market with teams, knowing that these teams are gonna have to give up capital, draft capital for him in a trade to see what value he can drum up. This will then allow a back and forth with KC and Sneed's agent to see if they can work out a long-term deal after all, or for Sneed to take the better deal elsewhere that in turn gives KC some much needed draft capital while Sneed gets his bag. Right now, the Chiefs have six picks for the 2024 draft, pick 32, 64, 95, 133, 158, acquired from the Cowboys, and pick 250. That's a first, a second, a third, a fourth, fifth, and a seventh, six picks in total at the moment. For comparison's sake, they drafted seven players in the 2023 draft and 10 in 2022. So they don't have to gather more picks, but it wouldn't hurt, especially if Legereus Sneed wants top of the market money. Right now, the top three highest paid guys make 20 plus million per year, and I really doubt the Chiefs are willing to pay that much money. Maybe they are down closer to the 15 to 17-ish million range, but Sneed has more than earned that payday. So if he wants more, he's more than likely gonna get more. As far as trade value goes, some think the Chiefs should be able to get at least a first round pick for him and a later round pick as well. Jalen Ramsey uh, was worth two first round picks as well as a fourth when he got traded to the Rams back in 2019, but he was a few years younger at the time than Sneed is now, and he was the fifth overall pick in the first round of the 2016 NFL Draft. Meanwhile, Sneed is 27 years old, has had some known knee issues, and was a fourth round pick. However, he was one of the best cornerbacks in the entire NFL last season, and his stock is definitely way up as he locked up opposing wide receiver ones all season long. We all know how good Snead is, snubbed from all pro, snubbed from the Pro Bowl. We don't care, we know how good he is. He's massively underrated. Therefore, maybe the Chiefs can get a first 
and a fourth for him, or maybe a second and a fifth, or maybe they trade him to a team that also has a wide receiver or left tackle maybe they are willing to part ways with, and that helps both sides out. Time will surely tell there. All I know is this, the Chiefs are tagging Legereus Sneed, and if they aren't close on numbers for a long-term deal, Sneed is more than likely gonna be playing for another team next season. The Eagles uh, have been listed as teams that are interested, players already texting him, uh, but with the tag, he's protected for now. We'll see what team he actually ends up going to if they can't work something out. But I would much prefer if they can work it out and he stays a chief. After all, he asked for Brett Veach to pay him on the K Adams show a week or so ago. So I know he would like to stay on the team if possible. The coaches love him. The players love him. He loves Kansas City. I'm sure he wants to stay. But he also wants to make a bunch of money. This is a business at the end of the day, so tough decisions will likely get made. The way I see it though, Chris Jones is probably returning as he's the centerpiece of the D-line and arguably the entire defense. Meanwhile, Snead is awesome, Snead is great, uh, but they've drafted a lot of defensive backs in recent years and are great at finding gold in the later rounds of the draft with safeties and corners. As far as players they got, you know, Nazi Johnson is in theory coming back they have Chamari Connor and Nick Jones they drafted last year. Then there's Brian Cook, Justin Reed, Trent McDuffie, and then both Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams. They're going into their third year in the league, and one of them could maybe step in for Snead if he's not around, and then they would probably even draft another. So when you combine all that with the fact that the Chiefs have Dave Merritt, their defensive backs coach, and he's one of the best in the entire game, I think they can more easily part ways with Snead than Chris Jones. But with all that being said, what do you guys make of all this? Give me your thoughts on what you would like to see Sneed traded for compensation wise, and just your overall thoughts on the situation as a whole. Do you wanna see the Chiefs get a deal done with Sneed, or for the right draft capital, if Sneed wants to make top of the market money, would you be fine to see him go? Just remember this, Brett Veach did say, for what it's worth, at his presser today that he really wants to get a deal done with both of these guys, so hopefully at the end of the day, they can make it work out. But let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments down below, and until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.